Welcome back. Uh, today is going to be one of the last final soaps of 2020. So that's exciting. So Happy New Year if you're watching this on New Year's. And let me just put my gloves on. So today is going to be Valentine's. So we've got two fragrances we're doing. It's Dragon's Blood and Harlequin Romance. But because I'm so lazy, I just put them all in the same bin and, or pot and then we're going to split them up later. So don't do this if you're not comfortable with making soap and measuring out evenly, which I'm not really great at measuring out evenly, so I don't even know why I'm doing this, but it's being done because I've done it before. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit down like so, so you can see what I'm doing. Melted blues. Let's get the mixer ready. And here we go. So it looks to be about. fragrance in there because we're doing two separate fragrances. We're just going to pour it right out. So this one's going to be for a uh, love spell, which is going to be scented with dragon's blood fragrance. Oh. These four are going to be scented with Harlequin Romance. Evenly portion that so we should have a little bit left over in the pot. The thing about this lid is that all this lip here it makes so much mess. All these I'm just gonna wipe this up quickly. Now I'm leaving this here because I did the math and I realized that there are more, I fit more than four liters of soap into my, um, sorry, more than two liters, there we go, more than two liters goes into each of those molds. So this is only two liters right here. So a little bit extra left behind so that I can how about I just pour that into there? Wouldn't that make sense, Kimberly? Hmm. I think it would. You're right. Okay, so we're just going to do that. We're just going to pour this back over here with all its color. And look, we got something to hold my Okay, so into here, we're going to do some dragon's blood. Very dark. It looks like resin almost, but it's not. Good thing we're doing dark colors because I have no doubt that that will change the color if I were doing a lighter one. So that's good. So into these ones will be the Harlequin Romance. Which is going to be called um, Last Chance. I thought it was a romantic name. Last Chance for Love. Alright, now we need to do this in a weird order. We have to do the pinks first. Uh, where's the light pink? This is the light pink. Move out of my way. Actually, I think that was a bit dark. I think this is the light thing. Oh, well. And finally, 
Just clean that off a bit so that when we are ready to do those ones, because I'm just going to let those sit for a bit because this one's not going to be very uh, long of a pour. So this one is super easy. It's just maybe I should mix it. Ooh, that might be a little bit better. Because then we can have a spoon. I'm gonna save the rest of this soap for the top. So this is gonna go up here for now. Clean up the drips. And then back with the mixer for this guy. with a big red face and then black drop well, maybe I should just scrape it let's just scrape it now now I think I'm, I have an even better design for the top Did I miss that? Oi. Oh, well, that's amazing. I mean, this color, this mica is something new. I've never used this before, and boy, does it look like blood. I love it. What a great color. I normally use pigments, but I'm just not terribly happy with the way they work in my soap. I find that they do a lot of bleeding, and then of course you see it running out in the shower and you think that it's going to stain, but it doesn't. Hopefully. It's still a little scary. Okay.
all of a sudden just got the urge to watch Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because it's almost like a double feature. You get to watch two soaps being made at the same time. actually a taller mold than the car, but anyways, this was the leftovers, so let me just pop those out and do a little show. I didn't spray these with alcohol, so that's the soda ash that I always talk about that you don't want. Well, it's not that you don't want it, it doesn't do anything to the soap, but it just doesn't look the nicest. So, there's my soap bars, because yay, and let me just wipe off hands here quickly and get myself a cloth because we're going to be cutting some stuff and we'll be out over here and you go here and it's time to demold so this of stuff done before the end of the year. Ooh, my little trick is working, so I put the oven on and it's 
slowest setting while I was making the soap, just so it would be warm. And then once I finished making the soap, I put it into the oven and turned it off. And what that does is just helps the process to sticky berry. It helps the curing process and the saponification, not the curing process, saponification. Mm -hmm. So it helps that go along faster and then it comes out of the mold so much nicer. It gives it a nice shiny texture. Gorgeous. Alright, so I'm gonna just clean this off because I didn't do that from the last so. Also need a knife. Yeah. Cut all soap ends pieces flashing as I'm calling it. Actually, I just realized that I don't even think I can go to the grocery store today. I need more distilled water, but they're probably closed today, so I can't soap today. I have this whole plan of soap and cutting and having everything in the order, but I don't know. I guess they're going to be closed today. Just oh well. I guess we do deserve a break, right? I think so. I'm super excited to see how this looked. But I literally just, you saw. Anyways, it's been a moment for you. It's been a big night for me. Saying goodbye to 2020. I don't think I've had so much fun saying goodbye to the year before. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I like these. Oh, that turned out really cool. Okay, hold on. We need to... There we go. Oh, you guys can't see. Hold on. There's the discoloration I was talking about. So I'm glad I used dark colors for this fragrance because it would not have done very well if I had done a lighter fragrance. Oh, these are really cool. I like that. It's kind of what I wanted, just like blops. Blops of black. This one is called Love Spell. So kind of I think it goes very well with the name. And I also just realized that I have completed all my Valentine's Day soaps on time. I didn't think I was going to because my fragrances took their sweet time, thank you for it, uh, to get here. So I was thought it was going to be running late, but I did not. We uh, ooh, this one's nice. Mm. All right, so there is the love spell, and because it was a double feature picture show, <laughs> I will be but a moment with the other soap. Other soap. No, but this one is not going to fit, so it has to be. Oh, 
let it release is the other one. I don't know if you can see. I'm not that flexible. corner looks a little bit nicer than this corner and this one will be my sample giveaway. I forget what I am calling this one. And this is what happens when you don't clean up your wires. You get the stuff on the soap. to myself these look like the colors for dancing queen oops so i cut the wrong soap that would explain a whole lot i was so nervous i was thinking oh my god i made two identical soaps but i did not this is just not the soap that i meant to cut right now Very organized. Oh, now you know. <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. So, this is dancing queen. Um, that's why it doesn't look <laughs> like the one I remember. So there's the first dancing queen.
Now let's see what the difference is in the slips. It actually kind of looks like my original slip slides. So I guess I'll be doing these at a different price. Maybe I can just cut them in half and make them into yes soaps. There's an idea. What are you watching? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, or they make all the texture. I need to find me one of those. What's that? A tech person to marry. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to get more content from Royal Pumpkin Academy. Until next time, bye!